Hello! In this video I'll show you how to make the O2 by Jan Ostman, an Arduino based drum machine, uh, very Jean-Michel Jarre inspired. Um, and it's done on the protoboard with a bare bones Arduino configuration as you can see in another video. And just a short walkthrough on how simple it is to build something on the proto. So stick around. So here we have the proto board uh, set up for uh, as an bare bones Arduino and I have two videos going through how to create a really bare bones Arduino. They both explain very well how to hook this up, one without the proto board and one with the proto board. This is a really simple configuration and as I said, two videos going through that. To make this into an O2, we need these components. Uh, you can have a few more components, but I'm going to do this. So, need an audio output, reset output, clock output, uh, tempo uh, pot, and a pattern selection pot and a start-stop switch and these three components, two capacitors and one resistor is for the output filter uh, simple making the digital PWM signal into uh, kind of a, a smoothing, smoothing out the, the jagged output to a bit smoother output. So let's put this together real quickly here. Let's start with the output. So that will be, and now because the schematics on John Ostman's site is for a nano, sorry about that, we need to find, so the output should be on digital output 11. Um, and on a 80 mega 328 bare bones pin 11 is pin 17 so that's the third one down here because that's 15 16 17 so there we should have the 1k resistor like so and then the big 10 microfarad capacitor with the plus side towards like so. So U16 is our output over there. Uh, let's see. Let's put these legs together so we can get that last capacitor in there. Like so. And this last capacitor is supposed to be connected to ground. So just to make it easy, let's just take row W out here to be ground. So we just connect that out like so. And then on the back side, we just connect row W9 to ground. So let's solder this together. can wait with the outputs let's add the pots and because these are uh, through hole we can actually just snap them in place here 
if we want to at some good at some good spacing like that maybe uh, and we can use it directly from here uh, I'm just gonna check so everything will fit in one panel here Alright, so satisfied with this, I believe. So we solder this in place. And then we should connect this. So now we need to connect some cables. The middle pin of so let's decide that the top one is tempo and the bottom one is pattern. So tempo, middle pin to A5. Which on the bare bones is pin 28. So this one up here. And A4 connected to the pattern, and A4 is pin 27. And then the output pin should be connected to minus uh, or ground and plus five volts. Uh, had I not ad used to put them directly here, I could have just and added them with cables. I could have just added them to any of the uh, tracks here, and that's what I'm going to do. But I need a few jumpers, so we're just gonna add a few jumpers here. Let me explain what I do here. So the top pin is ground on both, I'm guessing, because that's the most counterclockwise. Uh, and that's connected to ground. So on this one down here, we have ground right here on pin uh, on, on the P row. And on the Q row, we, has, we have plus five volts, because that's the pin plus uh, VCC on the Arduino. So I just connect those two cables to there. Up here we have, I have connected this whole row, so this whole row is plus 5 volts. And then the row beneath it is nothing on it, so connecting ground there and I'll just solder that to, to the bus on the back. So gonna solder this. That should be done. One more. That one. So that is it. Now it's just the outputs left. So let's just solder some cables to these three. 
and connect that. A few things to think about here, we are, if we're gonna put this in the modular, which I am, so a few things, 5 volts, we need to have a power regulator, I will put that in here, and these, there is a slight chance with our not so accurate modular from time to time that more than 5 volts will come in here, and that will destroy these pins, so we need to add some protection to the uh, input output uh, things. These are just outputs though, but if we happen to put something in, it might be a good thing to have uh, protection on these pins anyway, um, which I might go through in this video or in another video. For now I'm just going to connect this so we can make it, try it out and see so it works. So let's have reset clock output and the clock output should be on D13 and D13 is pin 19, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Reset is D11. D11 is 17. And the output is D11, which we already f have figured out, of course. That was this one, so U16, right? After that capacitor. And we need ground, we can choose to take, we can take ground here, for example. The middle pin down here is ground, or we can just add it here and connect that to ground on the back. We can do that. We might need more ground. And one more thing, we need the start stop. And that is a button connected to D10 and ground. So one of the pins doesn't have to be connected to anything, and one to ground. That's D10. D10 on this one is 16. So I made a mistake here, apparently. So just gonna, I can't count, that's a problem. Uh, so just gonna move some wires here. And so that one should be there. Th 
this board helps you count a bit with the row numbers or, or row names and column numbers um, but you still need to be able to count in your head so gonna move this one as well Solder that one in its correct place, like so. Again, you can solder on both the top side and bottom side. And let's connect this one with some cables, first of all. And D10. Six, pin 16. And the 18 mega. Be there maybe. And there we have ground in a good position right there. So add that there. And with that, I believe we are done. So let's uh, program the 18 mega with the O2 program or sketch and connect that and see what happens. So let's add this program chip. We'll go through the code in another video some other time. Um, so now we need some power. And right now we don't have the regulator so we're gonna use 5 volt power which I take from a another Arduino with no chip on it. So let's fire this up, make sure it doesn't burn up. Uh, my cable is a bit short here. Uh, let's come. There. And let's try this again. And it just works from the start. Uh, let's try to turn it off. And on. Oops. And let's change pattern. bit fast here okay so we need to switch the polarities of the tempo switch actually we need to make it slower somehow it's really fast I think we can do that with a resistor. Success, I'd say. So that's how simple it is to build with the uh, Proto, a, a Arduino project, the O2 in this case, by John Ostman.